Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice radical equation. x is equal to square root of 3 minus root 3 plus x. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. This expression 3 minus root 3 plus x, 3 minus root 3 plus x must be greater than or equal to 0. And this implies that uh, root 3 plus uh, x must be less than or equal to 3. If we square both sides, this implies that uh, 3 plus uh, x must be less than or equal to 9. And this implies that uh, x must be less than or equal to 6. And this x uh, must be greater than 0. x must be greater than or equal to 0. So, this is the domain of the equation, x must be less than or equal to 6 and x must be greater than or equal to 0. Now, we suppose that this expression root 3 plus x is equal to y. Let y is equal to root 3 plus x and substitute y in this equation, this will become x is equal to square root of 3 minus y. If we square both sides, this implies that uh, x squared is equal to 3 minus y. Let's call this equation equation number 1. And uh, from this equation, if we square both sides, this implies that uh, y squared is equal to 3 plus uh, x. Let's call this equation equation number 2. We copy this uh, equation number 2 here. Equation 2 is uh, y squared is equal to 3 plus uh, x. This is equation number 2. Now from this equation 1, if we move this uh, negative y to the left hand side and this x squared to the right hand side, this implies that uh, y is equal to 3 minus x squared. Let's call this equation equation number 3. Now in this equation number 3, this y, y is uh, greater than 0. So this uh, 3 minus x squared, 3 minus x squared must be greater than 0. 3 minus x squared is greater than 0. This implies that uh, x squared must be less than 3. And this implies that uh, x must be less than root 3 and x must be greater than 0. So the final domain of the equation is uh, x must be less than root 3 and x must be greater than 0. Now from equation 1 we subtract equation 2. From equation 1 we subtract equation number 2. So this will become x squared minus y squared is equal to 3 minus y minus right hand side of equation 2 3 plus x. Further simplify this will become x squared minus y squared is equal to 3 minus y minus 3 minus x. And this uh, negative 3 will be cancelled out with this uh, positive 3. This will become x squared minus y squared is equal to, we rearrange these terms, this will become negative x minus y. Now, this uh, x squared minus y squared can be factorized as uh, x plus uh, y times uh, x minus y is equal to, from these two terms, uh, we can factor out negative 1 in back left uh, x plus uh, y. Move this expression to the left hand side, this will become x plus uh, y times uh, x minus 
y plus one time x plus y is equal to zero. Now this expression x plus y is a common factor, so we factor out this x plus y. And in bracket left, in bracket left this x minus y plus one. In bracket left x minus y plus one is equal to zero. From here either this expression x plus y is equal to zero, or this expression x minus y plus 1 is equal to 0. Now we recall equation number 3. We recall equation number 3. Equation 3 is uh, y is equal to 3 minus x squared. Equation 3 is uh, y is equal to 3 minus x squared. First in this equation we replace this y with this 3 minus x squared then this will become x plus 3 minus x squared is equal to 0. Rearrange these terms and multiply the whole equation by multiply the whole equation by negative 1 then this will become positive x squared minus x minus 3 is equal to 0. This quadratic equation is not factorable. We solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula, x is equal to negative b is negative 1 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared, we write negative 1 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is negative 3 divided by 2 times a is 1. Next x is equal to negative times negative 1 will become positive 1 plus or minus square root of this in negative 1 squared will become 1 and negative 4 times 1 times negative 3 will become plus 12 divided by 2 times 1 2 next x is equal to 1 plus or minus this will become root 13 divided by 2 it means from here we get two values of x x1 is equal to x1 is equal to 1 plus root 13 divided by 2 and uh, x2 is equal to 1 minus root 13 divided by 2. Now we solve the second case. In the second case uh, we replace this y with this value 3 minus x squared. So this will become x minus in place of y we write this uh, 3 minus x squared plus uh, this 1 is equal to 0. Further simplify this will become x negative times 3 negative 3 and negative times x squared plus uh, x squared plus 1 is equal to 0. Rearrange these terms this will become x squared plus x plus x negative 3 plus 1 will become negative 2 is equal to 0. Now this quadratic equation is a factorable so we solve it by factorization. We write this uh, x squared and we can rewrite this plus x as uh, plus uh, 2 times x minus 1x minus this 2 is equal to 0. From these two terms uh, we can factor out x in bracket left uh, x plus uh, 2. And from these two terms uh, we can factor out negative 1 in bracket left uh, x plus uh, 2 is equal to 0. And this x plus 2 is a common factor so we factor out this uh, x plus uh, 2. And uh, in bracket left uh, x minus 1 is equal to 0. From here either this expression x plus uh, 2 
is equal to 0 or this expression x minus 1 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the third value of x is equal to negative 2 and from this equation we get the fourth value of x is equal to positive 1. Now we use the domain to remove any invalid solutions. Domain of the equation is x must be greater than 0 and x must be less than root 3. Domain of the equation is x must be greater than 0 and x must be less than root 3. This expression negative 2 is less than 0. This will be rejected. And this uh, 1 minus root 13 over 2 is less than 0. This will also be rejected. And this uh, 1 plus root 13 over 2 is uh, greater than root 3. So this also will be rejected. And uh, this uh, 1 is uh, greater than 0 and less than root 3. So this is the final solution of uh, this problem. This is the final answer of this equation.